Welcome to the project demonstration of solar panel cooling system by using Peltier FX. So here, uh, while we generating voltages from this solar panel, so it depending on the temperature also. If the temperature is uh, more, then the uh, voltage losses will be occurred. So in order to eliminate the losses, we are using a Peltier FX. So we mounted the two Peltier plates to this 12 volt 10 watt solar panel. So you can see that two Peltier plates were attached the back side of the solar panel. So whenever the temperature increases, then the system will provide us the audible alert. Based on that, we can control the temperature of the solar panel by switching on these Peltier plates by using this switch. So here the generator voltage will be measured by the peak microcontroller through the older sensors. So here we are using the older sensor. This is a 10 to 1 older sensor. So why because we are generating voltage of around 12 volt solar panel, but we can get up to 18 volts as the regular voltage is 18 volts. So controller can measure the voltage above 5 volts. So we need to divide that voltage with the help of potential divider circuit 10 is to 1. So if the input is 18 volts, our controller will get the 1.8 volts. So inside the controller in programming, we multiply that with the 10. So we will get 18 volts and that will be displayed on this 16 by 2 LCD screen. And the same, that is the input voltage parallel. So these are solar panel voltage. These two are connected in parallel. So parallelly given as input to this charging circuit. And from there, we are providing that to the battery to recharge. Same battery is to provide the for a microcontroller and to the Peltier plates through this switch. And that is from this LM2596 voltage regulator. So the main purpose of this voltage regulator is 12 volts will be regulated to the 5 volts DC output, which is the main operating voltage for our whole components. So temperature will be measured from this dust and waterproof sensor. It's a real time sensor that is DS18B20, so which is dust proof and waterproof. So from here, we're going to getting the voltage diary, oh, sorry, temperature and will be displayed on the LCD screen. So voltage and temperature on the LCD. So coming to the interfacing connections, we have interfaced this DS18B20 temperature sensor at A4 pin and A0 pin was connected to the microcontroller at A0 pin. And the next LCD to display the so-called status uh, B2 to B7 and when the temperature is above 45 degrees centigrade, then the buzzer will get switched on and which was connected at the pin number C4. So here I am showing the uh, alternating of charging of this battery. If the sunlight is not available, if you want to charge a battery, then connect this S, the, sorry, disconnect this S from this S or T slot, connect the transformer. So S or uh, T not nothing but solar panel or transformer. Just on the power supply to this transformer, then the transformer will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts AC and uh, this regulated power supply charging circuit board will convert the 12 volts ac to 12 volts dc so which is uh, sufficient to charge our 12 volts battery coming to this battery ratings in this one we are using six batteries in that three batteries are in series and these three are in series again these two are in parallel so four volt one amp are in series in three numbers so 12 volt one amp 12 volt one amp these two are in parallel so we will get 12 volt two amp dc output directly so that is the input to this LM2596 regulator which we uh, regulated that to the 5 volts DC output. Now for final demonstration, just connect the solar panel, disconnect the transformer, right, connect it now. This is the main on-off switch for the whole kit and this is the on-off switch for the Peltier Levitch. So when we on that, we can see the fans and Peltier plate both will on at a time. So we can see that two fans got switched on as a Peltier effect started already and off. Now it is off. And we can see the live temperature and the solar panel voltage. Due to the low lighting, we are getting the voltage on the LCD screen. And now I am increasing the temperature by providing the heat object to the temperature sensor. So when it crosses the 45 degree centigrade,
So when it is normal again, this will be the normal one. So while demonstration, we can place this whole setup under the sunlight directly and we can note down the solar panel voltages. So whenever we switch on this cooling effects and we can see the voltage increase when the temperature is high. So let us take for example if the temperature is around 40 degrees centigrade in real time. Note down the voltage values. Then on the Peltier effects, wait for at least of 10 minutes. Then we can observe the increasing of voltage on this solar panel LCD display. So that is the main proof we are getting the more voltage when the normal temperature is there from the solar panel and less voltage when the high temperature was occurred on this solar panel cells. Right.